Yo, is it all right? We're recording. Sorry about any background noise you guys might hear. Hopefully, it ain't too much. But anyways, what's going on, everybody? Red right Alvarez here, man. We're back. We're back. 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 We're back with another video. Uh, today we're doing a Mr. Negative deck. This is Mr. Negative Crystal deck. Now I will admit, got to admit, got to admit, guys. Um, I've been trying my. Uh, let me pull it up while I'm talking, so you guys can see. And this, this is so unoriginal. And it's actually, this actually wasn't. This is it my the deck. Um, and this actually, what well, it isn't, isn't like I, I had crystal. No, I had got crystal. So I have been thinking the old crystal I had thought was a really neat touch to negative. I thought, man, the old crystal is great. Um, you can potentially pull a new whole hand card of like negative cards. Um, but the new one isn't that bad either, especially if you combo it up with like Wong or something. I think um, current crystal isn't that bad because you you're like and okay, yes, yes, your opponent draws. You're get this way. You're guaranteed to draw two negative cards. Or a negative card if it's just like the one crystal. But the thing is, yes, your opponent also gets a card pool. But you gain, it's a bigger benefit from you. So I always, I thought about this. I was like, I don't like her new ability too much because of that. It still, this deck still works. It, it, I think it worked in the past. When, because if you, and this only works with a Zabu. If, you, if you're running Zabu, this works really well, right? Crystal, Wong, Jubilee, perfect. Zabu's in there. Zabu's in the mix. He's doing a lot of work in there, um, making these three costs, right? And in the past, I, th this deck would have been even more insane, I think. I, I wonder if any, no one ever tried this deck when it was still a uh, two minus two for Zabu on the uh, four cost cards. That would that was that would have been pretty nice. Um, but anyway, so yes. So this one, I, okay, sorry, let me catch my thoughts. Okay, there's one thing I don't like, and I'm going to talk what I do like about this deck. This is one of the first negative decks I've seen that really is kind of consistent. And Mr. Negative is a deck that's really hardly consistent. This one's pretty consistent. It seems like I always usually have some type of options, um, like, here and there. Jubilee, though, I feel like sometimes is a weird card. Weird card. Now, Jubilee has a few benefits. If it pulls out Psylocke, there's two cards you don't want it to pull out. You don't want it to pull out Mystique, and you don't want it to pull out Iron Man. Those are two very bad cards. No synergy at all with um, Jubilee, which is why I wasn't the biggest fan of her being in this deck. Like I said, if this was my deck, I probably wouldn't have had Jubilee here. Um, but I, I've seen it, and I but this, but this deck was an old build for the old Crystal ability, not the new one. But I think it still works, so I wanted to try it out. I, I really wanted to play negative. Again, um, you know, uh, since hitting infinite, I was like, I, I just want to switch back up to something maybe not as consistent, but something I enjoy playing. And negative is one of those, um, and surfers are another one, but surfers so also mildly inconsistent, um, and it feels underwhelming a lot of the times. And it seems like even if you get the perfect storm juggernaut every game, is it just didn't always feel safe, especially if. And, and I guess the thing was, and I didn't, I didn't attempt this too hard, but you really got to make sure you pick a lane that they're not gonna pick when you play Storm, which can be easy or it could be hard. But normally, um, but yeah, there's so many things out that kind of counters it, like Jubilee, for example, counters Storm. Um, uh, uh, another deck that's running, um, uh, another potential. Anything that can keep a card there, like, uh, what is that three cost card? Was it, what is his name? This is so irrelevant that I don't even want to pull it up. Brood, I don't know why I could not think of Brood's name, bro. Okay, Brood. But anyways, all right, we're off topic with it. Yeah. Okay, so this deck works really consistent. Uh, it feels like anyway, right? So you have a multiple ways to get negative out. Um, Psylocke, Zabu, and then Jubilee if you just don't even pull him. If you're lucky, and if you don't get them, you're okay. You're still in good shape. If you get Wong, Black Panther, or Artem Zola, which by turn you really only need Wong to own draw. Like if you see Wong, you have plenty of time to draw Black Panther, Artem Zola. So if you have two of the two of the three off off rip, you already should be pretty set. As um, long as you have Wong, usually you're set because you need him for turn four. But you should be able to draw in like 
in six pools, you should be able to draw Black Panther and Artem Solo. And if you got Crystal, you're for sure going to draw potentially one of those. If you can get like Zabu down or something like that, right? So, anyways, uh, there's a lot of options here. And then you obviously still have Iron Man, um, Iron Heart options. So, there's very plenty, 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 plenty of options. Usually, I like to throw in a Bass in this type of deck. Um, which Bass actually would be okay here. But it would be quite the chokehold on uh, on Black Panther and limit him. It, it, it'd be a minus two. So it's just not worth it. But everyone else, I think, benefits decently from a, a uh, if Bass was here. But it's no need. Because especially, it doesn't interrupt the deck either. Because you still can play Zabu, Psylocke, turn two, negative three, even with a Bass. So I think if I was to take maybe a card out, I would probably take Crystal out and pit Bass in. Or I could, yeah, because I think Magic's really relevant at times. Especially extra draw. And yeah, and that's another synergistic effect is magic. It's so many cards that really have synergy here. So yeah, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy this um, deck. And uh, we're gonna get some gameplay in just a second. Um, like I said, things I don't like Jubilee. It Jubilee. Okay, if Jubilee pulls Iron Man, that is kind of okay, great, nice. But what you don't want with that is you can't copy it with Mystique. So then you just don't want to see Mystique. There's no other card here that is what well, I guess. Wong, I can say there's no really other card you 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 really have use for now with Mystique. I guess Wong, but Iron Man and Mystique is like the main combo you want, and you can clearly still you can clearly still um copy your Wong and do plenty of things with that. Maybe like an Iron Heart, like a quadruple Iron Heart, be pretty great. Um, a you know big crystal would be great. Um, so a lot of, a lot of good things also, uh, so in every card in this deck does want to be negative. Like it, it benefits except crystal doesn't have, it, it's neutral on crystal, but usually with Zabu here, we're playing crystal at lower cost. So this deck usually works pretty well. Like I said, so let's get a game in. Um, like I said, Jubilee is just kind of one card. I'm just not the big fan of, but I will note, I felt like I played this. It is way more consistent than some of my other negative decks except there is one other negative deck that i used that got me to infinite my first time and um i have yet to, i have yet to see anyone like copy it it was very intricate and it's hard to copy because it it uses a few like high level cards like um bass and not high it, like valk and a few other cards okay we can so like i said good good deal um, ooh, yep, that is, okay. If we get Zabu in return, that would be great next turn. I'd rather play Zabu than Psylocke. Yeah, okay, no deal. But at least we get the negative gets, can't get it. Is this like a Murder World? Dad, I just check and see. It's today, because I've seen Murder World so many times today. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, well, good thing is we, we haven't pulled Iron Man yet, so he's looking like our winning cause here. Another thing too you want to do is kind of really make sure you leave a lane open for uh, Arnim Zola. You really want him to be oh, open. This is a good day to play the show in there. But we uh, pretty much can almost can snap. We're not gonna snap though, obviously, for obvious reasons. And like I said, we just want to leave a lane open so we can we're we're gonna Arnim Zola that. So. Oh, nice, Black Panther. Let me... He might leave here. That's fine. Speed this up. I think he's pretty probably confident. But we're going to snap here. Like, he might have forgot we played negative. But anytime you see a negative depth snap, just leave because you know they have Iron Man. But there is... Like a potential, I think I'm pretty sure this guy's running like a um, pretty sure this guy's running like a um, a Noel type deal. So, I 
And it doesn't even matter which order these two go, honestly. And should I, actually, should I, um, yeah. Either way, this is fine. Whoever he, he wants to copy is fine. Wait, how did, how he play that many cards? Oh, one of them must be, uh, what's him call it? Anybody but, okay, if one goes first, cool. Now I want to see Black Panther for sure. Now, actually, I shouldn't have, I should have just strictly left it at them too. Okay, good. Yep, good deal. Yep, yep, yep. Nice, yep. Pre and that, and that's the standard. Like we didn't even need the we didn't even need to yep and then you I knew he was gonna shunk chi us. I knew he was gonna shunk. I was wondering how he was able to play so many cards. You gotta know you gotta expect that when you see um and, and I fell for that plenty of times myself. I love it too because people are so baited. If you got pro and yeah, it's a good chance you're gonna have priority in this, in this type of deck. Yeah, not always, but if they're if they're if you guys are both playing just one lane, then you're in good shape to kind of win. So yeah, pretty undefeatable. Yeah, it, it's just really consistent. And at the end of the day, you have O reliable. And listen, listen, I, I preach this. Go look at any. I'm not sure on the Zach videos, but go just check some of my other videos. I always preach this every time with this game is that if you have a deck that is like like move like move deck needs to kind of be strictly move but there are other archetypes like negative that needs more than one thing going on you cannot just have a solo negative deck that focuses on just getting cards negative you need to better win without ever drawing negative mr negative you need to better draw you need to better win without drawing a certain card right Anytime your deck relies on one card, then you probably aren't. It's not going to be consistent off that alone because you're going to have like 80. You're going to have about 20% of the games you're not going to draw the card off rip. And then, and then another like 50% of those games you're not going to draw him before turn four or three. So, like now, like now we're going to play. We're obviously, we're going to play Psylocke to be safe next turn. Um, we want to keep a lane clear, so we see we see middle fist towers uh, okay lane to play on. So we want to leave. We want to put up okay good, and we do draw him. Uh, we already have Iron Man, though, so I'm not confident in snapping here. But if we do get Artem Zola, that's great. That's great. And one thing I think I want to start doing is leaving Psylocke in. I want to leave. I think I want to leave one lane kind of dead with just these two. Or should we? Or should we not? Let's do this. We always we always have the uh, yeah. And then and then what? Mystique would be great here. Yep. Okay. Good. Uh, we're okay. We're pretty okay. I want to save room from Artozola, so I'm not going to play him just yet. Just yet. Uh, he might have, unfortunately, he might. Ah, and of course, we do get Wong late. Let me cha I'm gonna change this up because he might have. Uh, well, I don't I actually kind of don't want to do that, though, either. We really don't need to, but if he pulls out, if he pulls out Magneto, that would suck. So I need to take, yeah, let me, I think to be safe, I normally don't think this far a lot of times, but if he pulls Magneto, we need to clear that out, honestly. What I don't like here though, is it, it I'm not set, I do have Mystique though. I'm not set up if we do pull Artem well. To, to, to set up any combos which okay we don't pull him anyway so that's fine um i think i think the smart thing now would be to just go ahead and snap and then must, he might he shouldn't leave here
just now it's just we want to catch wait can we do it we can't do nothing else right oh because iron man is a uh, five it's, i normally like it when it's mystique but then negative go becomes actually let me do it let me do it like this Yeah, that, sh- that should give us a little bit more power. Like I said, this deck's been playing really consistent. Doom. Uh, not the happiest to see him. And okay, we do get we do have Jubilee. See, uh, it's not a lot of options here, man. See, because we could do this. I'm not really liking that. Who's left? I think we have one or two cards. So let me crystals left. Crystals left and Artem Zola's left. I need to find the right lane to Artem Zola. See, I'm not liking this though. I'm not liking this situation at all. Actually, I'll do it here. Because uh, Crystal could come out. Dude. Gosh darn it. If Crystal comes out, we're screwed. But I, I'm, I'm really banking on... I really think we're going to end up getting um, Artem Zola. Oh, God. Oh, this guy wasn't playing. Yeah, we need Artem to win anyway now at this point. And we get Crystal. Yep. I knew, I knew the two cards left. And we got the wrong one. 